Like many in Somalia, one young Somali woman living now in the United States has had to overcome many obstacles. Heather Hatsenbula has, has that inspiring story. Since civil war broke out in Somalia in 1991, hundreds of thousands of Somalis have fled the country as refugees. One of these people is Yasmin Yonis, a 21-year-old Somali who left the country with her family as a young child. We fled um, to Kenya, and then my aunt was in America at that time, was able to sponsor us, and you know that's when our life as Americans started. Many things that were part of childhood for Yasmin required her to act with the responsibility and maturity of an adult. Having parents that didn't speak English, she acted as a translator for them and took care of certain important tasks, such as scheduling doctor's appointments and registering for school. Similarly, Yasmin says the September 11th terror attacks on the United States were difficult for her to understand. I stopped being a kid on 9-11. I, um, I remember I was in seventh grade and I was in my social studies class and one of the teachers ran into the classroom while we were doing some work and said turn on the TV, turn on the TV with this urgency in her voice. I remember them saying something about Muslims had done it and for me I couldn't conceptualize that because for me being Muslim meant being, um, being a good neighbor. Yasmin says experiences only fueled her ambition to achieve. She recently graduated with honors from the University of Georgia, where she earned degrees in journalism and international affairs. I mean, my American dream was to get a law degree and a master's in public policy and really just save the world, but specifically work with communities of color and low-income um, communities and work on issues of education, of um, access to resources, of um, other things that uh, you know plague uh, these marginalized communities. Yasmin attributes her success to having two wonderful parents who did everything they could to ensure that she could accomplish anything she set out to do. She felt that academic success was not only her right, but also an expectation and obligation to her family. Specifically, she recalls that encouragement from her father has propelled her through challenges in life. He said, Yasmin, you admit you're black, you're an immigrant, you're a Muslim, you're a woman, and you are not wealthy. Um, that just means that you're going to have to work ten times harder than everybody else. But that, doesn't, that should never stop you. This summer, Yasmin is working in the Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Issues as a Harry S. Truman Fellow. She gets to research the hot-button issues of the day, observe congressional hearings, and interact with senators and congressmen. Hey, maybe to be a you know, United States senator, um, I, I think it's a great way to serve uh, my country, um, to really have some kind of say in how things are governed and how people's lives are affected, hopefully for the better. Um, and so I definitely see myself coming back. A self-proclaimed feminist, Yasmin believes that the future prosperity of a country is determined by how well educated its women are. We really encourage girls to, um, to believe that they have just as much, um, that the world is just as much theirs as their brothers and that your contribution is just as important that you are just as intelligent, that you are just as strong, that you are just as, can be just as ambitious as anyone else. After completing a fellowship in Washington, Yasmin Yonis will head to graduate school to pursue a law degree as well as a master's degree in public policy. Heather Hatzenbuehler, VOA News. For more information on any of today's stories, please visit us online at voaafrica.com. You can also visit us on Facebook. Just search for In Focus.